Hi everyone, my name is Kennedy from The Ornament Girl, and today I'll be showing you how to make the snow globe heart pattern. This is a no-sew quilted ornament pattern, and you can check out the description to find some links to some free resources that'll help you design this ornament. I'm going to go over the materials that you'll need to make your ornament. Make sure you check out the link below the video to access your free printable supply list page with all the measurements that you'll need. And you can also access your template for marking your heart into eight sections. To complete this pattern, you'll need heart-shaped foam, fabric, ribbon, satin straight pins, one extra long corsage pin, a flexible measuring tape, scissors, a pen for marking your foam, and two strips cut out along the dotted lines from your heart marking template. Just a quick note about your fabrics, you'll want to make sure that your first fabric features a large print or an image of some kind so that you can center it inside the middle of your heart to make it the focal point of your ornament. Let's start by dividing our heart into eight sections. You'll need two of the strips cut out along the dotted lines from your heart marking template that you can find below the video. Start by laying the short end of one of your strips right in the center of the groove at the top of your heart, and you're also aligning your strip along this clear ridge that runs all the way around your foam. Once that strip is in place, pin it with one of your pins. Now wrap this all the way around the edge along that pronounced ridge running along the edge of the heart until it reaches the bottom point. Go ahead and pin in place again. Now do the same for the other side with your second strip. Once you have two templates running around the outside of your heart, we're going to use these dash marks to divide our heart into equal sections. Using your pen or pencil, make a mark on both sides of the heart right where the two strips meet at the top, and follow the template around making marks on each side of the heart at each of your dash lines. Make one at the bottom center point, and continue around following the dash marks again. And now you've divided your heart into eight sections. You can now take the template off your foam. Once those templates are removed, you're left with eight marks on each side of your heart. We're now going to connect those to try and find the center of the front and back. Using your flexible tape measure, align your tape measure between two opposing marks. So I'm going from the top center down to the bottom center mark, using my flexible tape measure as a straight edge here. And once I'm lined up, I'm going to use my pen to draw along that center line connecting my marks. Now do the same for all of the other opposing marks on this side of your heart. Any two marks that are on opposite sides of each other, we're going to connect with a line. Now I have four long lines going across my heart, dividing it into eight sections, and where they all converge here shows you an approximate center of the heart. Do the same on the other side. Also make sure that your lines connect across the ridge. It makes it a little bit easier to see how to line up your triangles later in the pattern. And now that you have both sides divided into eight sections, we can start adding some fabric. The goal of this ornament is to feature an image in the center. So whatever image you have on your fabric, you want to find the center of that picture. On this particular piece of fabric, I'm going to use this center point between three of my flowers as the center of my image. Place a pin down through the pattern side at the center of the image that you're putting in the middle of your foam. And now, at the point where all of your lines converge, somewhere in that center area, go ahead and pin your fabric right into the heart. 
Now your image is centered on your heart. Make sure you align it so that if you have any of your pattern running straight across, you're aligned that way as well. And now we're going to smooth our fabric over the heart and start pinning. So when we're pinning, we don't want to pin into the other side. We're always pinning along this ridge. So I'm smoothing my fabric over the foam and pinning it into the foam, but I'm following the ridge that runs around the ornament and pinning directly into that ridge. I'm not pinning all the way at the edge of my fabric. I'm pinning along that center ridge. If your fabric doesn't reach the ridge, like mine doesn't reach the ridge at the bottom, I'm still just pinning along the edge of my fabric. Continue doing this, smoothing your fabric over the heart and pinning just along the edge, the ridge of your foam. Keep spreading out your pins, always smoothing it out from the center. And make sure you're pinning along that ridge, not into the other side. Keep pinning around your piece until it's flat. Another quick note, I used a dark pen to divide my heart into eight segments so that you could see my lines on the video. But if you have a light fabric like this, you can also make your lines by scoring them, scraping into the foam with something like the tip of a pencil or a butter knife so that you're not seeing your dark lines through your light fabric. Now that my fabric is secured all the way around the foam with pins, I'm going to go along the ridge where any of this extra fabric is extending beyond my pins and trim that off. As you can see here, I trimmed my fabric that was past my pins so that none of my fabric is in side two. It's just contained to side number one. You can also remove the center pin out of the center of your fabric. And if you have a hole left over, you can sort of just scratch at it or rub at it and your fabric should go back into place. That completes layer one of the first side of your ornament. Let's add your second layer. With a two by three inch rectangle of fabric number two, hold it horizontally with the pattern side facing away from you. Fold the top edge over by about a quarter of an inch. You don't have to be exact about that amount. Fold it in half and crease to find the center. Unfold your piece and place a pin along that center crease just a hair below the top folded edge. Now we're going to pin your piece along this top center segment line and you want to decide how far out from your image you want your pieces to land. You can see on this ornament I had a smaller white snowflake as my center, so I pinned my pieces about a quarter or half of an inch outside of that. Since I have a bigger image on this, I want to show more of the fabric around the outside, so I think I'm going to start with about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. You can decide what works best based on the image you're centering in your ornament. Following this top center segment line down in the divot of the center of the heart, I'm measuring right along that line. And I chose to put my triangles about an eighth of an inch outside of my image. So I'm pinning at the 1 8 inch mark. My center crease of my rectangle is in line with that segment line drawn on the foam. Now to make your triangle, fold the left side straight down and fold the right side straight down, just overlapping the left so that you have one line running down the center of your triangle. Make sure that center line is lined up with the segment line on your foam. Pin along the center of your triangle through both layers and always keep your pin along that outside ridge of your heart. Now pin the left edge down along the edge of your heart and fold the right edge down, again keeping that pin along the ridge. You've added your first basic triangle. Let's do that again. With another rectangle of fabric number two, hold it with the pattern side facing away from you. Fold the top edge over by about a quarter of an inch, fold in half to find the center, unfold, and place a pin along the center crease just a hair below the top folded edge. 
Moving to the right to the next segment line on my foam, I'm again measuring from the outside of my image. I'm treating all three of these flowers as my center image, so I'm moving toward the outside edge of this orange flower, and I'm lining up my measuring tape with the segment line on the foam and pinning my triangle at the 1 8 inch mark. Again, you could be doing a quarter inch, a half inch, whatever works best for the image inside of your heart. I'm lining up, I pinned right along my segment line, and I'm lining up my center crease right along my center line. Fold the left side straight down, fold the right side straight down, and line up the center of your triangle with the segment line on the foam. Place a pin along the center of your triangle and keeping it along the ridge of your heart. Smooth down the right side and pin along the ridge. Smooth down the left side and pin along the ridge. And there's your next triangle. Again, prep your next piece by holding it with the pattern side facing away from you, folding the top edge down, folding in half to find the center, unfold and place a pin along the center crease right below the top folded edge. This is how you're going to prep all of your triangles. Moving to the next segment line on your foam, measure along the segment line and from the edge of your image. I'm measuring from the edge of my flowers, pinning along the segment line at the 1 8 inch mark. Make sure that your center crease aligns with the segment line. Fold down the left and right sides. Make sure that the center of your triangle is lined up with the segment line. Pin at the center along the crease and along the ridge of your heart. And do the same for the sides. Continue doing these steps all the way around the foam until you have a triangle placed at each of the remaining segment lines. Once you've added a triangle to each of your eight segment lines, you can go around the edge of your ornament and trim off any fabric that's extending past your pins. Once that is trimmed off, your second layer is finished. In layer number three, you'll be switching to a new color of fabric. Using a two by three inch rectangle, prep for another basic triangle fold the same way as we did in the previous layer. And once that piece is prepped, we'll be returning to the top center triangle. This next set of triangles will be layered on top of your first set so that you have this little outline of your first color here. Again, this can be as wide or as thin as you want. So depending on how far away you put the tips of your triangle, this outline from the first set of triangles will be thicker or thinner. Returning to the top center triangle, I think I'm going to offset mine by about a quarter of an inch. So measuring along that center line from the tip of your triangle, I'm pinning my piece along the center of my triangle at the one quarter inch mark. Now complete another basic triangle, folding the left and right sides straight down and aligning your center line with the triangle above and the segment line below. Pin along the center, always keeping your pins at the ridge of the heart. And now move on to the next triangle, prep another piece. Moving to the right of the piece you just placed, Measure down from the tip of that next triangle, and again, you can pin as close or as far as you want, just keep it consistent all the way around. I'm using one quarter inch. Fold down the left side, 
and the right side and align that center line with the triangle above and the segment line on the other side. Pin at the center along the ridge and the left and right sides. Complete these same steps adding another triangle on top of each of the remaining triangles from layer 2. Once you've added all eight triangles of your new color, go around and trim off the extra. Once you've got a nice trim line right along those pins, this side of the ornament is finished. If you want to add another layer of triangles, either to reach you more toward the edge in case your edges aren't covered yet, or if you just want another layer of color, you can always add another layer of triangles. I'm going to move on to side two and show you how to complete the other side. I'm using the same fabric here, but I don't have the exact same center image. But again, for side two, you are just going to pin down through the center of what you're using as your center image there. So find the middle of that picture on your fabric and on the other side of the ornament go ahead and pin it somewhere in the vicinity of where all these lines converge and you can sort of smooth it out since I have a a taller image here I think I'm gonna move mine down just a little because it takes up more space than that previous one did now as we did on the previous side smooth out your edges and pin always pinning along the ridge line here. So you have these ridges already covered with fabric and pins. Pin right along that same ridge line. You don't want to add any pins past that line into your side one. So go ahead and smooth out your image and pin along the edge. If your fabric doesn't reach that ridge line, just pin it within the heart. It'll get covered up by your triangles. Once you've pinned your image down all the way around, go ahead and trim off any excess fabric. Now you can remove that center pin and fix the hole there. And we're ready to add the next layer of triangles. If you're at the same point here, I am in a situation where all of my segment lines are covered. So in order to make sure I'm following those same dividing lines to place my eight triangles, I'm going to be using the center lines from the previous side to align myself. So let's get ready to add another triangle. With your fabric for the first layer of triangles, fold the top edge over, fold in half to find the center, unfold, and place a pin along the center crease, just a hair below the top folded edge. So returning to my image, I again am going to do 1 8 of an inch outside of my image. You can do more than that, but to find where you're measuring, you're measuring along that center groove and use the triangles from the previous layer to help straighten yourself out to make sure you're following those same eight dividing lines pinning at the 1 8 inch mark, fold the left side straight down and the right side straight down. And now to make sure you're lined up, use the center lines of the triangles from the previous side to line yourself up straight. Pin along the center, always keeping your pins along that center ridge and pin down the left and right sides. and you've added your first triangle to this side. Let's prep another piece. Mm -hmm. 
and moving to the next segment line to the right. Again, if you can't see your segment line, use the triangles from the previous layer to find that line. Measure down from that segment line to the edge of your image. And I'm pinning at the 1 8 inch mark. Line up your center crease with your triangle on the other side. Fold the left and right side straight down. I keep, again, keeping your center line straight with the other triangles. Pin along the center and left and right sides at the ridge. Continue these steps all the way around to add a triangle to each of the remaining segment lines. Once you've added all eight of your triangles and trimmed off the excess, you're ready to add your next layer. I'm going to do the same thing again as we did on the previous side, adding basic triangles on top of each of the ones we just placed, and I'm pinning mine down a quarter of an inch from the tip of the triangle and keeping my center lines straight with the triangles on this side and the previous side. Continue this all the way around the ornament, adding another triangle on top of all of your triangles already placed. Once you've added all of your triangles and trimmed off the extra fabric around the edge, you're ready to add a band to cover all of your raw edges and pins. With your long strip of fabric in whatever color or pattern you want to use that corresponds to your other fabrics, hold it with the patterned side facing away from you and fold it in thirds. You won't be able to fold and hold the whole piece at once, so start with just the first few inches, folding it in thirds and creasing it so it's nice and smooth. And you want to make sure that when this is folded, it's just wide enough to lay around the edge of your ornament and cover all of those raw edges and pins that are left from trimming. So keeping the end folded, align that short edge at the center divot of your heart and pin in place with two pins, one at each corner of your strip. And now you will wrap this all the way around, but the trick is to keep it folded as you go. So I like to flip mine over sometimes and fold the next few inches and then wrap around your ornament. You want to pull kind of tight, but if your fabric has a printed pattern on it, you don't want to pull so tight that you're distorting the fabric or the pattern. So again, you're just keeping that folded as you go and wrapping it around the edge of your heart to cover those edges and pins and pulling kind of tight so that you can get it smooth but you're not pulling any pattern out of place. It's helpful when you get to that bottom point, you can pull nice and tight and pin it right along that point. We'll remove that later, but it just sort of helps hold it in place. And make sure you're checking both sides too, to make sure you're covering, covering your edges and pins on both sides of your ornament, keeping it folded. You're going to wrap the rest of the way around your heart, covering all of your edges and pins, pulling nice and tight, checking out both sides. And once you return to that top divot, just pin it at the very top center along the left and right sides. And check out both sides to see 
how it looks nice and tidy now. If you're happy with how it looks, you can trim off this little extra piece of your band here. And now you have a nice smooth ornament with all of your raw edges and pins covered. Now let's add some embellishments to finish it off. And you can remove this bottom center pin here too. With my longer 24 inch piece of ribbon, I'm going to show you how to make a bow. Start by folding this entire piece of ribbon in half to find the center and cut at that center crease. Now you have two strips of ribbon, folding those in half again to find the center, line up your edges and fold at the middle. Cut at the middle again. And now you have four strips of ribbon that are all the same length. Holding these four pieces together, fold them in half again to find the center, but don't cut. This time you are creasing the center, unfolding and pinning through all four pieces of ribbon along that center crease. Flip your pin over and spread your pieces of ribbon out. And now one by one, fold these edges of your ribbon back onto the pin and keep doing that until you have eight loops. Once you have all of your loops, you can flip this over and see that you've made a cute little bow. Go ahead and spread your loops out and pin this into the very top center aligned with the middle of your band and the middle of that divot at the top of your heart. Pin your bow in place and fluff up your loops. Now using a 22 inch piece of ribbon, complete those same steps. Now you've made a bow with your second piece of ribbon. Since it's a little bit shorter than the first, your bow loops are going to be a little bit smaller to make a cute tiered bow on top. So go ahead and again, just pin this right into the very top center of your ornament. There might be some pins in the way so you can sort of shift around until you find the right spot. And now you have a really cute tiered bow to top off your ornament. To add a hanger, you'll need a 10 inch piece of string, put the ends together and tie them in a knot. And now using your extra long corsage pin, pin right through that knot. We like to use extra long pins for the top of the hearts because it just gives you some extra hold and security when you're hanging your ornament. Press that pin right into the top center of your ornament, right on top of your bows. You can trim off the extra little bits of hanger string if they're getting in your way. And now you've finished your ornament. I hope you guys had a really great time making this ornament. There's so many different ways you can make it beautiful. We can't wait to see what designs you come up with using this pattern. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.